What's up guys? Sean here from SRKCycles.com and we have a ninth this is a pretty rare piece. 1982 uh, FRX shovelhead with the five speed in it. This thing's pretty awesome. Let me uh, let me back it up. Show it to you guys. And the most impressive thing about it is it's gonna last 33,000 miles, but how well it fires up. Unlike that sportster I've been trying to get fired up for a while. I can never find the kickstand. Alright. Let's do a little walk around. This is actually a really nice bike. It's pretty unmolested. This would be a per uh, FXR. It'd be a perfect, perfect restoration project. You're definitely gonna, if you're interested in this bike, you're definitely gonna want to check out the uh, the walk around video. I'm just gonna show you how good this thing runs. All right. So first, fuel is on. Turn the ignition on. Pull the choke up. Crack throttle twice. Look at that. That is impressive. And then while I'm about halfway down the road, what is going on up there? Look at all that smoke. When I'm about halfway down the road right now, I'm gonna put the choke off. This is wild, man. 1982 FXR. I wasn't even born. I wasn't even close. And it's, they only made this in the five-speed for two years. It's a. It's actually a very rare bike. A great bike for a restoration project. Or just something you can ride around right now because it, the thing runs very well. Rear brakes are in op. Rear brakes just, they barely work. This is pretty cool riding this thing. I'm, I'm surprised how well this runs. This is extremely impressive. I mean, this fires up better than some new bikes I have. is in up. The tachometer is very up. It ops great. Man, this bike is impressive. It doesn't take much to impress me with an old Harley. If it fires up good and runs, I'm pretty, I'm like, wow, that's amazing. A lot of, cause I, and also it's, it's pretty stock. A lot of times you see a bike like this and they've just, everyone has modified it. They've done dumb stuff to it. And a nice, like fully restored, uh, one of these bikes and one of these years with this transmission, you're looking at like twelve to fourteen thousand bucks would be the value of it. It's got pretty impressively good power. Very 
depressed. This would be one of those awesome bikes that someone from like California should buy and then they should fly up and they should drive this thing home. That would be a trip. Man, that'd be cool. Could you imagine like being around in 1982 and then like this was your first bike you ever bought I bet this thing was amazing back then I mean look what else what else would they make in 1982 that was cool nothing It's actually pretty comfortable. It's got a big cushiony seat. I think the bike might be a rigid. Don't quote me on this. I'll have to look at it again, but I think the only suspension is in the seat. Other than the forks. I'll have to look at it again though, but 82 shovel head. Look, there's a lot of smoke coming from up there. What's going on up there? Oh, maybe there's a fire up there. Not only do I test drive motorcycles, I also look for fires. I don't see it. I see a lot of smoke. All right, guys, that's the, uh, wraps up the test drive of this awesome 1982 five-speed pan head. Very cool bike. Super impressed with how well it runs. And I'm pretty sure if we let it sit right now, it would idle. How great is that? That's amazing. Guys, this bike is great. The kickstand is like way, way far behind. That is a magnificent beast. Find the key. Shut her down. All right, guys. Turn the fuel off, because that's what we do with old bikes. Alright guys, that wraps up the video.